Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a tack haul, but it is going to be a little bit different. Um, this is kind of an epic tack haul for me. I'm about to go and pick up a brand new jumping saddle. I'm so excited, so I thought it was a perfect opportunity for you guys to come along with me to go and get the saddle and just see my first impressions because I have not seen it yet. I literally like could barely sleep last night because I was so excited. <laughs> so no more talking, Let let's go. So we are in the Peter Horobin showroom right now. Such an aesthetic room, I'm absolutely in love. And just over there is my new saddle. I'm so excited. So we're gonna go and unveil her now. I would like to introduce you to my brand new saddle. This thing is absolutely stunning. It's like a piece of art. I'm actually starting to feel anxious now because it's so nice. I actually, I mean, I don't want to even put that on my horse. I don't want to use it. Maybe I'll just like frame it and like put it in my house. I'm now back home guys and my excitement levels are still like up here so I'm just trying to like bring it down so that we can get through the rest of this haul. I mean I say that but like I'm literally drinking black coffee right now so I don't think that's really helping. So here is my new baby and as you can see even the cover that she came in is incredible. Uh, it has this super thick material, it has cords at the front so it won't come off. It even has little keepers fuel girth. But let me unveil her again to you guys. Oh. So this is the new saddle, do not stress, I'm going to insert more footage so you guys can see it properly. I am aware that I do not have very much room in the frame right now. So this particular model is the Peter Horobin Stride Free Melbourne Monoflap. This of course is a jumping saddle but it is very much built with the Aventa in mind, um, so for show jumping and for cross country. If you haven't seen a monoflap saddle before, it's essentially what it sounds like. So it's a single piece of leather um, on the flap as opposed to having the under piece and the piece on top. So as you can see here, this is like a single piece of of leather as opposed to the traditional two that you would see on most saddles which means you get a super close contact with the horse and you get a lot more feeling basically because you have a lot less in between you and the horse I feel like there's literally so many things I want to say about this saddle that I'm gonna to have to like run through as quickly as possible now these saddles are essentially built to order which means they are quite customizable you obviously get to pick the color of leather that you would like on your saddle but you also get to pick the welting and the stitching. Mine has all of the natural colors which I absolutely love. I especially love the caramel welting because it sort of looks chestnut-esque and it just like matches back to Fletch just kind of perfectly. I also love that they have adjustable knee rolls um, so I know it's a very individual thing as to what you like and dislike. With these there's several options in terms of sizes and shapes that you can pick from and where this sits is actually a panel that's completely velcro which means you can essentially lift this up and move it around as much as you want until you find the perfect spot where you want it to be placed. It also has a block at the back of the saddle flap, which is really good if you're a cross country rider, you know, occasionally you'll have those hairy moments where your lower leg maybe flies backwards a little bit more than you were expecting. So it's a, a little bit of a safety aid there. And importantly, this saddle also comes with a fully adjustable gullet as well as wool flocking which basically means you can have this refitted at any point. And for me, what has to be the number one feature of this saddle and of the Peter Harbin range is what's called the stride free tree. It's really interesting to see what the traditional tree sort of looks like versus what's in the stride free saddles. The stride free tree is actually designed with the horse in mind. So it's actually built in a more anatomical way. Most of the traditional styles actually point down and into the horse's shoulder. I can't even describe it. I've only had one ride in this saddle and that was for my fitting session. 
and literally even after five minutes of riding I could already feel that Fletcher's shoulders were really starting to open up and swing so I'm so excited to start jumping in this saddle I can't wait to see if he actually changes his technique in any way so I will 100% keep you guys updated if I think that anything's changed and I seriously mean this in the best way possible but when I was riding in this because it's mono flap you almost feel like you're riding bareback in a weird way because you can feel so much more of the horse because it is so close contact. Now my current jumping saddle is obviously a short point saddle. Um, so the girths I've got currently aren't gonna work with this. So I also got the Peter Horribin Softy Girth. So this one is 26 inches or 66 centimeters, I think was the conversion. This one is also in the dark brown leather and matches back really beautifully to the saddle. What you'll notice straight away is that the girth is contoured in shape, so it has that anatomical aspect to it again. It also has elastic points at each end, which you can see there, which means that it will still stretch with the horse as they breathe and as they move. The other thing I love is that this whole girth is also padded, so it is really, really soft and beautiful. What I am really excited about is that I am actually going to be working with the Peter Horriman team in the near future to bring you guys even more content. And my favourite part of all of that is that they have very kindly provided me with a discount code to give to you guys. The code is Han Equestrian, and you guys can use that to get 15% off any of their products. I'll be sure to leave their website details down below as well as my discount code details. And they don't just do saddles either, there's also some amazing leather accessories including the girth that I showed you guys earlier. They are an Australian based company but they do have stockists and representatives all over the world so I'll be sure to also leave those details down below for you guys who aren't here in Australia. If you are after a new saddle then be sure to go and check them out. And of course would this even be one of my hauls if I didn't show you guys something brand new from Dublin? Like, no, it like wouldn't, like it just wouldn't. So Dublin did send me some of their new spring summer collection to try out. So the first product that they sent me were the Corvus breeches. And now this is part of their everyday range. And these are obviously competition breeches. So I got these in a size six and obviously they are in the white. The first thing I will say about these is that the fit and the fabric is so beautiful. The fit once again is really, really nice. It's very flattering. It definitely holds you in in all the right places. It has this subtle bling um, at the front there on the pockets, which are like faux pockets again, just for the look. Um, and then you've also got the bling on the back as well. And once again, you've got what I would call like faux pockets. Like it's just for the look, they're not really pockets. And the weird thing is, is that the fabric doesn't necessarily feel the best on your hands, but when I wore them, it was extremely comfortable. And I had a look and majority of the fabric is a nylon, which I think is why they're so stretchy and comfortable. Now these are a full seat of grip, basically going from the bum all the way through to the knees. So it has this really cute crisscross pattern, which I think is quite nice and should make it sticky, but like not too sticky. The other thing is that these are apparently gel grip um, as opposed to silicon, which you see on most breeches. So it'll be interesting to see how they hold up. And something I love and just always have to point out on the ankles, they've actually got like an elastic piece, which I absolutely love because there is nothing worse than struggling to get out of your breeches at the end of a hot day. The next few items from Dublin, I'm super excited to show you guys because I have been waiting to see if they will release the Black by Dublin range into the apparel space and they have finally done it and it has not disappointed at all. And I really do think that they have not let themselves down with these two products. So the first one I have to show you guys is the Allegra Short Sleeve Competition Top. Now I think this is absolutely stunning. It is a white panel on the front um, and then it has sort of like a blue gray panel on the back. And I absolutely love when white pieces have a back panel in a different color because like I've said before, it just minimizes any risk of staining or anything like that. The material on the back is also similar to sort of like a basketball jersey, so it is very, very lightweight and very breathable. Um, and then on the front you've got your more standard sort of technical shirt material. So this top does have the comfort dryer fabric, which means that it wicks away sweat really well. Um, and it also has something new called Fresh Tech, which is apparently supposed to promote antibacterial properties and help reduce odour. So Probably a pretty good feature for someone who's going to be competing a lot over summer. And they might look black, but the detailing on the front is actually a very, very dark navy. And of course, I do love the little Diamante logo that they're using. It's just a little bit extra and it's just a nice way of setting this apart from the regular rain. I love this, so I can't wait to get back out competing. Next up, I've got the Black by Dublin Tatiana Short Sleeve Competition Shirt. This one is in the sky color. The color of this I am absolutely in love with. I'm not sure if I said it before, but both these tops I did get in the extra small. Again, I love the design of this shirt, especially the color. The mesh sleeve detailing I think really stands out. So you also have that mesh 
following back on the collar there as well and the collar is a really beautiful shape it's sort of got like that feminine like curve down into the zip which I love and then you've also got the mesh panels down the side of the product as well I personally absolutely love it but it's probably worth noting that if you're someone who doesn't really like things that are too see-through you can see through the mesh so you can see like my hand underneath there now um, obviously that's easily fixed so if you're not a huge fan of see-through I would suggest you just wear a white singlet underneath this that way you'll still get the effect of the white mesh but you won't be showing any skin the next couple of products all came from Equipad so if you are familiar with their brand they essentially do a really beautiful range of what's usually limited edition saddle blankets and recently they've actually branched into some apparel and even some brushing boots so I was very excited to try some of their new products now first up I've got two of their new t-shirts the first one I am totally in love with it is the Team Chestnut Blue Cotton Top. So this one is just in a small and it fits very, very nicely. I love this top. I am obsessed. So the word chestnut looks like it's literally they've taken a photo of a chestnut horse's coat and that's actually the background in the text. I absolutely love this. I love that it's in like our trademark blue. I can't wait to wear this. I also got one of the long sleeved versions, which I really, really like in black, of course. On the front, it's got the Equipad Equestrian Branding. Both of these tops are 100% cotton, which I really, really like for summer. This one in particular is very lightweight, which I love because Sometimes it's good to be able to wear something that actually has long sleeves, but also is still nice and light and not too warm. The only thing I found is that the sleeves are a little long for me and I do have pretty long arms as it is. So if they are too long for me, I think for most people, you'll probably find that they do fall onto your hand a bit. So it's just something to be aware of. It's very easy to just roll up the sleeves. As well, I also ended up with one of the Equipad caps. Now, I've collected a lot of caps over my time, but I have to say this one has a really, really nice shape and design to it. I have like a really small head and I don't know, I have like a weird face shape. I always struggle to buy sunglasses and to wear hats for some reason. I don't know what it is, but the cut on this is really nice. It sits really nicely on my face. So I love the cut. It looks really nice when it's on. It's very flattering, even though I have a weird face shape slash head shape. It has a nice clean version of the Equipad logo on the front and then you've also got the Equipad Equestrian on the back there. When I last looked at the website they did have a lot of really nice colour options. I just went with the nude slash beige colour purely because I feel like it'll go with a lot more riding outfits and I kind of can wear it with whatever. Lastly from Equipad I also have a pair of their brand new brushing boots that they have just released. These are the brown obviously but they come in I think three other colours as well. So these are neoprene boots, as you can see on the inside there, and then they have a really light mesh around the outside just to make them extra breathable. Your standard elastic straps, and then the synthetic leather pad on the inside as well. These are sold in pairs, and there is no like front or hind end boot per se. Um, so you essentially just buy the size depending on where you want to put them. So for example, if they're going on the front, they're slightly smaller. If you're putting them on the hind legs, they're going to be slightly bigger. For me, these are your standard everyday brushing boots. So I would be using them for like a flat work ride, for a light hack out, maybe use some basic trot pole work, something like that. What I do love is they have done a little bit of extra detailing to make these stand out. If you didn't already know, they do actually emboss the boots. So as you can see there, I've actually got my initials embossed onto the boot. So I love that it just like adds a little bit of personalization. I think that's a really cute touch. As I said before, I will put the Peter Horriban discount code and details down below for you guys in the description box. Um, and as always, I will make sure to link every single product for you down there as well.